welcome back to Thinking Positive in spite of the best efforts of Dan and Brian. Hi, Drew! Hi, Drew! I'm How are you? Move on to the Skull mission, which is neutral. It can be done by either Jacob or Evie. And uh, this is going to be the new cadence for our Let's Play. I'm just going to describe the things that's happening in front of me. Uh, right now, I'm running on a stone road. It's quite lovely, actually, this depiction of London. I, I love it. A little bit puddly out, but that's just historically accurate. That's England. Dan is poking me in the lymph nodes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that shit. Uh, yeah, I'm back in, like, you're just getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy? Getting sleepy. Was my voice putting you to sleep? It was, it was, it was smooth. <laughs> smooth like sandpaper. When I had to do my final project in high school, one of the criticis criticisms... <laughs> Criticisms. One of the things I received was, I could listen to your voice all day. <laughs> it's really quite soothing. Help you out with what? And your boring you party? Look at how you scowling you are. You're not gonna have oh. fun. Oh, you got a fancy dress. Oh. Nothing looks better in one of those it's shoulderless fine. dresses and Hand him your broadness and Jacob. Jacob, not dressed too differently. <laughs> a bag full of weapons. Why don't you watch Pumpkin clean herself? That'll make you I can't happy. see her. Pumpkin, come clean closer. Oh, Pumpkin! Pumpkin, come clean! Did you spill that food? So how's your zen going? Is it working? It's pretty good. Deal mm -hmm. with life one day at a time? Yeah. Madam. Eating your sir, chicken, madam. eating your eggs at various stages of development. Go on in, sir, madam. Who's that guy? Sir, madam. Oh, the Gladstones. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. Oh. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than <sighs> they, are they being shitty for no reason? Yes. Why can't they get along like normal siblings? Ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> I have to follow you, okay. Ugh. Evie does not strike me as very dainty. Nothing wrong with that. It's Ooh, just, uh, swooshy, swoosh. It's very shiny. It's got the uh, the poof. butt poof. Butt poof. I mean, I can see people worked hard on these buildings, the interiors, the I outfits. Find the piece of Eden. What's you that? Wish. Your immersion. <laughs> but it just it doesn't add up because it's just sort of hollow. With pretty I'm finish, like the 1800s. Why don't? Why doesn't Ubisoft just in a white focus on making an explorable city? Which is most likely locked. Like a like yeah. some sort of adventure the game. The captain of yeah. the guard will have a key. Mm. Okay. Infiltration opportunity. Or make a VR game. That, that's could, on the horizon. Hey, that guy has a key. Where you could uh. Good one! You punched him in the junk, way to Jacob. I let go of the controller, sorry. <laughs> Dropping it like it wasn't your fault? No, I mean... <laughs> like you didn't kill Tupac? Who, who stole this cookie? Son of a bitch. Like that exonerates you, like a prison shank. Alright, you gotta go to the second floor now, Drew. I'm going. You apparently got the key in that bumbling. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Tell your fucking story, Brian. You're not telling your story, Brian. So we'll watch this guy play an invisible fiddle or violin. No, Drew, oh, no, no, it's no, quite there. visible. You just can't <laughs> see instruments. All right. You have a disability. <laughs> we didn't want to tell you about it. <laughs> All musical instruments are invisible to you, which is why you've never gotten on well with musicians. <laughs> you thought they were playing some sort of prank on you. How do I get up there without pissing these motherfuckers off? <laughs> I mean, I'm already. You could go up on the roof. Oh, you need to kidnap a guy. A guard. Okay. Go find a guard. Don't, Don't knock him out this time. Not this way. There are plenty of fucking guards out here. If I want to get a guard from out here, I'm gonna get a guard. How's your Zen going, Drew? It's done. It was great until you took the controller. Until we asked anything. <laughs> Keep your mouth closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? Time for the party. Wow, everything's great. But yeah, I was... 
I was doing one of those world missions to just assassinate some dumbass Templar. And I was, like, standing, leaning on a railing, just watching... Just watching the guy meander around, waiting for an opportunity to get him. And this longshoreman walked up to me, in the game, and, like... Sailor-looking guy. He just walks up, and this was actually recorded audio. He said, Gentle. The old ruins will rise, and the old will become new again. And I was like, what the Gentle. fuck? Was that a Cthulhu reference? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? Just some random guy, and I turned and I looked at him, and he did nothing. No, no interaction, no mission, no hook, just some creepy little Easter egg wandering around the city. Just like that normal background <laughs> chatter. <laughs> <laughs> Which is exactly Present how Cthulhu dreams. would do. I loved it. Yep. Ooh, there's a lot of people here. I guess you could have kept that guy with you. You know, your knockout hostage. Yeah, it's possible. Let's go this way. Boop -doop -boop 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 -doo. Don't mind those uh, floating vases. There's a piano under them, Drew. Like that weird piano that at the cage. train station. The plans are somewhere nearby. I don't know. <laughs> Dan, can you find them? No. <gasps> no, I'm busy punching. Dan, where could they be? I'm punching. Are they back in that other room where I came from? Yeah. Are they out on the veranda? Are they uh, in this desk? That's this, a nice desk. There's somewhere around here. I gotta use my shit vision. Oh, look! Mm. There they are! I saw wine in there, too. Okay. There's a safe. I'm good now. Perhaps it's locked in the safe. Nope. You found nope, it. it's now in this, this chest that doesn't even have a hinge. Where are you gonna hide it? It's just a picture of a naked person. It was that picture <laughs> you guys showed me of the coffer. <laughs> I don't understand. Secrets. I want secrets. Give me. <laughs> Got it. Hey, Drew, you got a thing. I found someone's letter. No, Brian. Put your phone away, because I don't want to see it. See what? Uh-oh, that guy's coming back in this room. You, you, you don't want to see the ball-enhancing underwear? Treehorn. <laughs> the fuck did you look up to get that? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> That's from the Big Lebowski. Oh. When he's doing detective work, that would be good for a noir member as well. The, the Big, Big Lebowski. Lebowski. He's a noir hero. Sure is, Brian. He goes around, he's conducting the investigation to find a kidnapped wife, and he keeps getting beat up and thrown... Jacob's most likely that guy dissolved into a hat, Drew. Look. Or accidentally pushing the queen down a flight no, of stairs. No, he's also acknowledging that then the old ones won't take his mind. Jacob's pushing the queen down the stairs. She said it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. There you are. <laughs> I never met I you. <laughs> dying for you. Oh, that's not true. You were on that train. Uh, we did opium uh, together. Uh, Come on. <laughs> that's why. Well, Remember who's... Desmond? Who is this Desmond? Desmond. <laughs> yeah, I want more of that shit. Who Desmond? No, Meta I want plot? more of that. Like, yeah, the plot. Your oh. Majesty. Plot. Ugh. May I present <laughs> Evie. Don't look her in the <laughs> eye. <laughs> I hear you're running you the crime. Responsible for Mr. Gladstone's. Mr. I'm responsible for everything, my brother Majesty, and me. I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. This is your one chance to slap her. <gasps> I'm just saying, you I could be that person. Have a smoke grenade. <laughs> Miss Fry. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Stop. Would he have danced with Jacob if we were playing as him? You've had your fun, <laughs> but the game is over. Uh, uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing. Doop, 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 doop. Can it I skip this? <laughs> Don't you dare! That hysteric talking. He's the only thing resembling an enemy. <laughs> but what if I agree with him? What if I want to work for him now? Well, other than the whole Problem killing is, his guards everyone thing. Everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and mm -hmm, over. Mm -hmm. People can learn. No. Can they? No. 
Isn't everyone? I want to know what Jacob's doing. God damn it! Repeating the same. Racking up a pile of people that he's knocked the fuck out. Remember the dance. Hmm. Could know the time. That he could change things. Why is he monologuing us? Because he's, he's got those intense villain eyes that look like they're just full of cocaine. He took the piece of Eden. Why did I bring that with me? It's not the piece of Eden. Trying to get to the vault. Key to the piece of Eden. Oh. Yeah. The ruin you nearly and she didn't notice him taking it off of her? Is she enjoying herself? Is she gonna, his pocket? Is she gonna be the new Lucy? Your time is up. <laughs> oh. Mine. I can get you a tiny hat. You could <gasps> rule by my side. Oh. <laughs> Smaller than my hat, of course. I will have a big hat. Oh, Jacob! Oh! Oh, I guess we go to me mid- mid- gonna uh, go pal around with Aberline. Jacob looks good, Who are I you gotta gonna, say. You looking sharp, why couldn't we wear this all the time? Because you're not a man without a hat. Fact. Yeah, who is this? Me and uh, Berlin are I have hat blindness. He's gonna be completely charming and calm. I use hats to identify different people. <gasps> Damn! Across the, the velvet rope. Oh, I did! Oh. I thought a body sprung up, to be honest. But you can't cross a glass door. No, well, no, no. It's, it's okay. aluminum silicates. It's basically space metal glass. Even Jacob's rudeness has its limits. <laughs> Reach Abilene. How? Is he down? Is he up? He's, He's up. There. He's on the roof, I He's think. He's a downer and an upper. Ooh, that hat's still there. He's ready to party and go all night. All right, let's see what we got. Ah! <laughs> Black. What's going on, man? Hey. Party Dracula? What? That is an excellent title to have. <laughs> On a business card or a name tag. When everyone's having a good time and then suddenly, like, the music stops and they all have to look at you while you monologue. <laughs> or just go bleh! Or soliloquy. Turn into bats. Can you climb things? Maybe. Just... Why aren't you climbing up to the roof, then? Why are you dealing with these... Clips. Look at you running. I wasn't able to run. I just had to wear a dress. You, you had, had a, butt, a dress. You had a butt dress on. It's literally a cage swinging around your hip. Oh my god, Brian, that statement was so poignant. <laughs> okay, those windows aren't open, so this one... Five. He's... Tell me stories of the party Dracula. Uh, so, one time, party Dracula... Uh, fought a guy at a party, and then he bit him, and then he made a new party Dracula, and now there's two. He's a party ghoul. There's, there's the, uh, well, you know. Hey, he is on the roof! That was a poorly placed screen dot. That was a terrible story I told. <laughs> I wanted to hear a story of him, like, slamming the door open and pointing at one girl at the party and just gliding over to her. <laughs> <laughs> like Lopan. Like David Lopan. <laughs> Just looking to get married. <laughs> to several women. Your super drunk boyfriend's like, Whoa, get away from my right. girl, bruh. <laughs> he just completely ignores him. Oh, I feel like Lopan and Dracula would have been besties. They had like the exact same objective. Was Big Trouble in Little China just Dracula? With China? Let's go with yes. You solved a mystery. <gasps> David Lopan equals Dracula. Thankfully, the, the original screenwriter for that is watching, and he's like, FINALLY! <laughs> Spits out his coffee, <laughs> finally a successor. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls out his cryptogram and shoves it into an envelope. We wake up <laughs> in the middle of the night to our front door kicked in with just a glowing light behind it. You have figured it out. <gasps> he unscrews his cane and like shoots a flare into the sky. <laughs> the secret of vampires in movies has to be passed on. Okay, so if it's our job to carry the torch of vampires in movies, what's our next vampire going to be about? For Dracula. New Dracula. Uh, <laughs> weekend at Dracula's? <laughs> <laughs> So they're trying. <laughs> Are they trying to cover up the fact that he's a Dracula the whole party, or do they try to cover up the dead bodies Dracula keeps making by partying so, with them? So, well, like I, I, they 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 don't realize that they they need to uh, wait until nighttime to wake him up. Party Dracula parties too hard. <laughs> 
<laughs> so they party gotta... someone to death. Oh. Party's his boss to death. He has to cover it up. <laughs> oh my god, you have so many fucking objectives. Right? Kill everything. This is a Jacob mission, behold. Look at all those kill dots. Next time on Game Over, guys. I work on those kill dots. That's a good name for something. <laughs> <laughs>